Hello everyone, my name is Tim and I'm one of the product specialists here at Spy Center Security, the Spy Gear Superstore. And I'm here today to talk to you guys about the Countertech Ultra Pro bug detector. The goal of this video is to give you guys an idea of how the Countertech operates and what it can find. If you need to know more about what bug detectors actually are, I'd recommend watching our bug detector guide video located under the main counter surveillance page. The Countertech Ultra Pro is designed to pick up wireless signals between 50 megahertz and 6 gigahertz, which means it can find anything operating between those frequency ranges. Most commonly are wireless cameras and wireless listening devices such as bugs. This unit is unique because it has something called audio verification mode. It automatically tunes into a bug and plays what the bug is hearing through the speaker on the Countertech itself. This is amazing for quickly finding what rooms are bugged. All you need to do is set the Countertech to audio verification mode and walk around the house with it. If you hear yourself through the speaker, then you, you know where to start. At that point, you would switch over to the RF detection mode to pinpoint the bug's location. What I'm going to do next is a demonstration on how to use the device. Hello everyone, today what we're doing is a quality and demonstration of how to use the Countertech Ultra Pro. Now first, we're gonna, this is going to be a little bit of a two-parter, because at first what I'm going to do is take you and give you a tour of the device and show you all the features and buttons and what they do. And then I'm going to show you how to configure the device and actually do a sweep with it in your home or business. So if we come close here, on the front we have a speaker as well as an indicator. So this portion here is going to light up, and depending on how many lights are actually lit up in this field, will dictate and tell you how close you are to something that's transmitting. If I swing it over here, we have a couple of different uh, options here. So if I kind of go over here, there's little icons to make it a little bit easier for you guys to see. This bottom one is for power. So if you flip that, that up, that powers the device on. This next one is for your power cord to recharge the internal battery. And then this last portion is just for your headphones. So you can plug a pair of headphones in it. Now if I flip the device upward, we have volume, sensitivity, and then we have a three-stage switch here. We have B as in Bravo, now this is for a beep noise. Now this is when I actually, like for, if I were to give an example of this, say I have it on B, and I were to actually adjust this, it'll make, make a beeping noise whenever you're close by something, okay? Now the reason why that can be potentially bad is if someone had a bug in your home or business and they could hear it remotely and control it, if they heard that beeping noise, they could turn it off and then you'd never be able to find it. So if you enjoy the beeping, just go ahead and plug your headphones in, okay? Next one is for audio verification. This is A as an alpha. What this does is an auto tuner. So what it'll do is if you were, it'll play what a bug is hearing currently through the speaker on the front of the device. So all you would do is turn it to A, power the device on, and simply walk around your home or business. If you hear yourself or through coming through this speaker, you positively identify that there's a bug, and then you can do a, an RF sweep after that. Lastly, you have V for Victor. This is a vibrate mode. So instead of beeping at you, it can vibrate to indicate when you're close by. Alrighty guys, so now that I've, I've given you a tour of the device and kind of shown you how to use it a little bit, let me show you how to calibrate it. Now calibration on these devices is extremely important no matter what RF detector you're using. If you don't calibrate the device properly, you will not be able to find anything. So to calibrate the device, what you do is you extend the antenna, power the device on, and then on the top here you have a sensitivity gauge. Now I want you guys to visualize a bubble. So if I adjust the sensitivity to be extremely big, what you're doing is you're expanding a bubble so that you're, you're extending your detection radius. But that's not what you're trying to do. What you're trying to do is you're trying to pinpoint and locate something. So adjust your sensitivity until you're finding something, and then slowly dial this back until you're just outside the radius. Now as I do my sweep here, in, in, uh, visualize a metal detector, because what we're going to do is a metal detector, as you're sweeping it across the ground, once you get over something that's made of me me metallic, what it's going to do is it's going to beep at you to let you know that there's something there. This is going to do the same thing. So what you do is you start on your wall, and you just, you just wand it. Now, I'm going to do it pretty quick for demonstration purposes, but when you guys are at your home or business, do this a little bit slower. So you just kind of, you know, go up and down, methodically kind of check every device 
And what's going to happen is when you get to something that's transmitting wirelessly, it's going to beep at you and you're going to see these lights right here go crazy. See how that's doing that? And what that tells you is that whatever is in this local area is actually transmitting. And that's it. It's as simple as that. 